My name is Joseph Kammerer, and my rank was senior executive level six, the highest level. I was sent up to the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard as a young engineer, and uh, they did that with all their engineers. They sent them out to shipyards to find out what it was like building a ship. So I went to Portsmouth, and I worked on the 585, the skipjack. And, um, and I also went out for the trials on the ship sh uh, skipjack. And um, I was very impressed because I had to get up at 5.30 in the morning. We snuck out of the harbor without anybody seeing us and went out for the trials. And we had a very exciting moment when we were out there. And the exciting moment was that uh, the helmsman was given the uh, uh, charge to take the ship down deeper and deeper uh, because it was a trial after the, the uh, shipyard uh, work was done. And he did that, but a little while after he was taking the ship down, he turned to the commanding officer and said, Sir, the diving mechanism is stuck. We're diving, but I can't do anything about stopping it. Well, at that very same time, there was another officer who was in back of the, general, uh, the, the uh, commanding officer who was yelling, Sir, go to the emergency system on the 400 cycle electrical system. And uh, he had to shout that three times before the commanding officer really caught it. But the commanding officer was calm but during the whole period. And finally he turned around, pushed a button, and we were in business again. The helmsman was taking the uh, ship back up and the helmsman reported that the little dive there had taken him 100 feet di uh, uh, lower than uh, they wanted to go, but it was nowhere near the, uh, uh, the capability of that submarine. In other words, it could have gone a lot, lot deeper. So there was no, no really, it was just an anxious moment, uh, especially anxious for a civilian who <laughs> was on the ship. And I was, my job was to read the hydrophones that were outside the ship, taking measurements of noise, because noise was so important in submarines. And um, so, uh, I, I did my job by reading the hydrophones and, uh, and, and sleeping on the torpedo tubes because <laughs> that's the only place I could sleep. <laughs> the rest of the place was taken up by crewmen. Um, but it was an exciting experience. And, uh, and uh, then, as I mentioned, I would have been out on the thresher had I not had a direction to go back to Washington to sign up for my master's degree. And that was all set that I would sign up for the master's degree. Navy was going to pay for that too. And uh, yeah, and for the PhD too, they would have paid. Uh, so, uh, so if I had not been, had to go back to Washington, I would have been on the thresher doing the same thing I was on the skipjack. And of course I was devastated when I heard the news because there were people from the Naval Ordnance Laboratory that I knew very well. They were engineers and they were, they were, uh, you know, looking at the, all their things that they have to look at when they go down. And so it was, uh, it was a very, very sobering uh, experience for me as well as the many other people that suffered. What impressed me the most about these submarines was their color. They were black, very black. And they were a massive kind of structure. I mean, all of the structure of the submarine had to be in that one round thing. They didn't have a superstructure except for the uh, fairing, where you could go up through the fairing to get out of the submarine. So it was a massive structure and black. And when you were out on it, you had this feeling that you were hardly moving when you were moving very fast. And I, when I say very fast, I mean up to 30 knots. And uh, and, and then to go down somewhat and have the captain say, okay, we're going to take a look through the uh, periscope, periscope for a minute, and uh, see what we can see. And I think they did that. And they focused on a ship that was down about uh, a mile away. And they said, that ship's dead right now. We fired, a summer, we fired our torpedo on that ship, he'd be dead. Uh, of course, it was another Navy ship, but, but uh, uh, and the inside of it was very compact. And I mean, they had berthing places for the crew that were just right on top of each other, and they were nets. So you had to sleep on a net. And, um, 
and, and the people that were chosen to go down on these submarines were very good sailors. They were very good uh, people because they had a very important job to do down there. And uh, you just couldn't take any old body and put them down there and tell them to do the job that these people were doing. And they were manning the engines, the reactors, nuclear reactors and so forth, and uh, the whole engine of the, uh, of the submarine. And you could get from, I mean, one thing that you could do is you could go from one end to the other end of the submarine very quickly, about 10 minutes. Whereas on a summer, uh, carrier or one of those other ships, <laughs> take you a half hour. Uh, but uh, yeah, a, a massive thing is like a, like a huge big fish that just glided through the water, you know?